Today, I am introducing the Mr. Forth Lab. The Mr. Forth Lab is an independent lab that focuses on practical research. That means generating, organizing, and presenting information that advances the practice of software development. Practical research isn't about cutting edge algorithms or fancy theoretical frameworks. It's about wrangling the nitty gritty details that come up in day to day programming. It is about the practice and not the theory. At the Mr. Forth Lab, the particular area of focus is low level native layer programming. All computation at some level depends on the native layer. So improving the practicality of low level native layer programming means improving the foundation that everything is sitting on. Here are some of the projects going on at the lab right now. The Mr. Fourth base layer was the beginning of this entire project. But when I started it, I did not anticipate that some people would actually want to treat the layer as a library for direct reuse. So now the Mr. Fourth base.h project is my attempt to roll my base layer into a few easy to reuse source files that are properly packaged to work as a reusable base library. The native layer of computation is ever present. Yet the tools and techniques we use for building software in this layer range from being massive and hard to understand to long abandoned and largely forgotten. This project is a first step to bring life back to that native layer. Formats like binary files, object files, and the related debug information are the building blocks of the current native layer environment. By understanding the building blocks we have now, I think we can open the door for creative ideas for a new, better native layer. The Arena, which also goes by other names like Linear Allocator, has been around for a long time. But right now, the Arena is getting a renaissance moment. I see a lot of projects that include arenas and a lot of people interested in discussing them. I have personally been programming with arenas for close to 10 years now, and I've had plenty of time to make the transition from the allocate and free model to this arena-based way of managing memory. The transition is not as easy as just dropping in the allocators. There are a number of new pitfalls and patterns to learn in arena-based programming. So I'm working to produce resources for making the transition to arenas based on my own personal style of arena-based programming. One important part of practical research is to bring the big ideas from other parts of research straight into the hands of practitioners. I think it's a shame how many great ideas are developed only to be locked away in their own small bubbles. I think an example of this is the SAT solver. SAT solvers are interesting tools that receive a great deal of attention from academic research and are put to use in high-tech industrial applications, but if you're an independent software developer working in any C-like language, you probably don't have any easy to integrate SAT library available. And on top of that, you probably don't even know that such a tool is an option. That's why I've been working on a lightweight SAT solver single header C library and the accompanying resources for understanding how to make use of a SAT solver. Finally, there's my big dream project, a shift into a new paradigm of programming, a paradigm that's not tied to the ideas of text files, compilers, interpreters, or anything else that came with them. I'm not the only person interested in this. There are theories about what a new paradigm will be like, but from what I've seen, we still have yet to figure out how a paradigm shift will actually be practical. Unlike my other projects, this project sits in the background. There's no specific end product in mind. It's an open-ended exploration, a driver for the rest of the lab's practical research and my own inspiration for thinking creatively about programming. If you're excited about these projects and you'd like to see the lab continue to work on things like this, then I would ask you to consider supporting the lab. The lab is focused on problems that are not going to be attractive for investors and that don't fit nicely into the categories of typical research. So the lab is looking to get funding right from practitioners of programming. 
but it's not just about your goodwill support. In exchange for your support, you get access to some of the following perks. At $5 a month, you'll get access to the weekly devlogs, which you can have delivered to you by your email inbox or by joining a Discord discussion thread that will be available only to supporters. You'll also get early announcements from the lab when applicable. At $15 a month, you'll get access to the indexed video library. All of my video content organized, indexed, and searchable. You'll also get access to some members-only repositories on my personal Git. This will include things like projects that I ended up not pursuing, or projects that are not ready to be published yet but that are being iterated on, or my own internal little art projects that don't need to be preserved forever in public space because they're more specific to a particular video, but that might be interesting to keep around for members. On top of all of that, every dollar you spend supporting the lab earns you a credit, which you can use to buy lab products. Here's why I like this credit system. Say you've been supporting the lab and you've given the lab $100 so far. Then one day the lab announces that it has developed some software package and that it's going to sell that package for $50. You've been supporting the lab all along, making the development of that software possible in the first place. So it wouldn't be very fair if you had to buy the software that you funded in the first place. With the credit system, you don't have to buy it again. Every dollar you spent in support becomes a credit, and you can use those credits to buy the software that the lab produces without having to spend more money. To review, the Mr. Forth Lab works on projects like the Mr. Forth Base.h, the Binary File and Object File Deep Dive, Arena Use Resources, the SAT Solver, and experimental programming systems in general. If you are interested in seeing these projects and more come from the lab, then you can help make that happen by supporting the lab now. In exchange for your support, you can get access to perks like weekly dev logs, early announcements, the index video library, and access to members-only source repositories. And every dollar you spend in support of the lab can be spent again as a credit to purchase software that the lab produces. I'm very excited to bring you lots of great content and software through the Mr. Forth Lab. If you can give your support, that will mean a lot. Go to mrforth.com membership, and the link for that is in the description. Thank you.